Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be discussing the concept of due date. Basically, we'll be understanding the kind of situation which we have to go through while mentioning or figuring out the due date. Now we already know what due date basically means. We have already understood that if the bill is payable on a specific date, that becomes the due date of it. If the bill is not payable on a specific date, rather it is payable after few days or after few months, as the uncertain situation may be, then you have to add three days of grace into it. Now, there are a few more situations, few more conditions that you have to understand while going through the calculation of due date. So let's jot it down for your reference and then we'll explain it in a better manner for you. So there are basically three situations that we have to deal with whenever you have to calculate the due date formula or rather whenever we have to gauge or judge the due date for us. So let's deal with the first situation. The first situation refers to calculation of due date after taking the days of grace into consideration. You remember the three days of grace that we had to take while calculating the due date. That is the first situation. The second situation is where you have to calculate the due date of a bill which is pay bill few days or few months after date or after site now these are two things after date and after site this is when we'll explain you how the situation goes through so the main point in the second parameter is where after date and after site is supposed to be considered so after date is something that we have to discuss about after site is something that we will be discussing about when we consider after date itself the third situation is when you have to consider the due date or rather calculate the due date when the maturity date itself is a public holiday. So if the due date that comes or when it lies to some other day which is a public holiday, what do you take the due date to be? That is what we'll be discussing. So let's discuss the first situation now. So the first situation where days of grace is supposed to be considered. We have mentioned an example here. Bill is dated on 30th of September which is payable after three months. Now from 30th September, three months comes to 30th of December, 30th September to 30th October, 30th October to 30th November and 30th November to 30th December, three months done here. If we take only that day as the due date, that means 30th of December 2000, anything, that will be a wrong due date because we haven't added three days of grace into it. So you have to add three days of grace into whatever date that comes after three months. That means here in this situation, it will be 30th of December. If you add three days into it, that will be 31st, 1st and 2nd. 31st of December, 1st of Jan and 2nd of Jan. So the actual due date will be 2nd of Jan. After date basically means when the bill is first drawn. So from that date until the due date is considered. So whenever you have to calculate the days or rather the due date, the start date of this specific transaction or in this situation if it is after date will be considered when the bill has been drawn. For example, if the bill was drawn on 29th of Jan and it was accepted on 30th of Jan. So in such a situation, if it is after date, then the due date will be calculated from 29th of Jan until whatever time frame it is given. However, if it is after sight, then whenever the bill has been accepted, that means in this situation, it will be from 30th of Jan until whatever time frame it has been suggested for. Like it may be for one month, it may be for three months. So that one month and three month calculation will be done either from 29th of Jan, which is after date, and 30th of Jan which is after site. So the situation that is the last situation which we spoke about maturity date being a public holiday. What happens between them? Now there are two kind of public holidays. First which is already declared by the central government or the official gazetted people. Second is a situation where there is an emergency or unforeseen situation like the recent floods that happened during that time, the recent climate change during that time or anything which is related to the terror attacks or anything because of which the city or the state comes to a stop that thing will be an unforeseen or emergency state holding holiday so in such a situation what happens or what is the due date that has to be considered or if there is a situation that after adding the grace days as well the maturity date comes to a public holiday like Dasera, Diwali, Christmas etc any such thing happens then what is the due date that has to be taken into consideration let's talk about the emergency situation first so if the maturity date 
comes on an emergency date that maturity is calculated only after the grace period nothing before the grace period can be considered as maturity date so keep this thing in mind if the maturity date comes to an emergency holiday that means a day when emergency holiday was declared then in such a situation the due date will be considered as the next working day in case of emergency or unforeseen holiday any next working day that comes into the picture will be the due date of that specific bill. However, if the maturity of the bill after adding the grace period comes to a public holiday like a Dashera or Diwali, then we have to consider certain other situations. So the due date in this case will be the preceding working day. That means an earlier working day for example if 25th of December comes as Christmas if the due date comes on that day then the due date actually will be 24th of December however if there is a situation where 24th of December is also a public holiday then a day before that that is 23rd of December will be considered as the due date so that's what has been mentioned here if in case of emergency the next working day but if in case of a central government or any declared holiday which we already know then a previous day will be considered if the previous day is also a business holiday or rather we can talk about a general holiday then the day previous to that will be considered here as the due date so i hope you are aware about what is the due date calculation that we have to do and how in all these three situations we have to go through with the working of the due date so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda